Is it true that EVs, electric vehicles, don't need any servicing? I'm Dave, welcome to Dave Takes It On. I get so many comments about servicing that we're going to cover today, do EVs need servicing? And spoiler alert, they don't. Let me just go back a stage and find out what servicing actually is. Uh, there are three real stages when it comes to servicing, maintenance and um, replacement on a car. So let's have a look at the first one. The first one, something breaks, you have to repair it. Uh, you go over a pothole and you shatter your suspension arm. That's a break, you have to replace it. It hasn't worn out, it hasn't deteriorated over time. All that's happened is you've hit a pothole, it's shattered or broken the arm and it needs to be replaced. And all cars will have bits on them that are like that. That's electric vehicles, petrol vehicles, diesel vehicles, LPG vehicles, hydrogen vehicles. They will all have bits. If you hit something, uh, you can break it. So that's not servicing. That's repair. There are some things that you need to maintain. Now, let me give you an example of this. One of those might be your, um, your brake pads. Uh, also your windscreen wipers. These are things that over time will wear out. They're consumables. They are designed to wear out and over time you will have to replace them. So take windscreen wipers, they will work for so long and then they suddenly start smearing and then you get streaks and they start juddering and at some point they stop working. They're still working as well as wiper blades. They haven't broken but they're not efficient at clearing your windscreen. Same with your brake pads. Your brake pads will wear away, and if you don't replace them, the pad material will wear away altogether, and it'll be metal on metal, and it'll do immense damage. So in both of those cases, when they need replacing, you replace them. You do not do this at set times. You do not say, for example, my wiper blades, I'm going to swap every three months, six months or 12 months. Not I'm going to do my, my, my brake shoes uh, at six months later. You don't do it like that. You run these until they are on the point of failing, on the point of wearing out, and then you replace them. And some people that might be really quick. Some people might be really slow. But it is a, a maintenance issue. You keep an eye on things on the car that will need replacing. These are consumables, and when they wear out, you replace them. But that's not servicing. Servicing is one step beyond that, and that's a preventative approach. Give you a very quick example. Your car, petrol car, has bearings, uh, has big end bearings and main bearings and all sorts of bearings and these bearings need lubrication uh, they have oil that's why you have oil in an engine and over time the bearings will uh, will start wearing away they will damage the oil and the oil will, will not be as efficient at, as protecting the bearings from wear and tear so what you do to stop the bearings going which is a very major job to have, uh, have to replace them when the oil is not as good as it should be, you replace the oil. And that stops the bearings from failing. So every so often, every few months, every year, whatever the period is, you will replace your oil. Now, as part of the oil, you have a filter. This catches all the tiny little bits of metal uh, in the system. And the filter needs replacing at the same time. You'll also have something called a timing belt. And this is usually a rubberized fabric belt, uh, got cogs on it, uh, teeth on it. Uh, and that also, if you just run it, will eventually fail. And you want to stop that from happening. This is servicing. It is preventative medicine. You don't want to stop your brake pads wearing. That's what they do for a living. They wear away. It's friction pads and they wear away in the process of slowing the car down. You don't want to stop them doing that. What you don't want to do is wait until they um, fail and then they'll do a lot of damage. So on the things like the timing belt, the oil and the filter, air filters and a lot of other things, um, you're going to do things designed to stop anything going bad long time before it happens. And also you're going to do it on a set interval based on what the manufacturer tells you is necessary. So, for example, they may say if you are driving a petrol car for a year, you will need a oil change and a filter change every 8,000 miles and 
you'll need a major service where we do a lot more, maybe gearbox oil and filter, maybe belts, maybe something else, um, at 16,000 miles. So these are set, pre-planned uh, actions that are designed to prolong the life of your, your, um, your car. So where are we with um, EVs? Well, the EVs have no preventative maintenance. There is nothing. Now, some EV manufacturers will tell you you have to bring your car in for a service. It's a con. There is nothing in it. Now, people find this most difficult to believe. Let me give you a real example. I'm of a certain age. We used to uh, have televisions with valves in. I, I remember the days of black and white TV back in the 50s and 60s. I remember it. Um, and every so often the TV would fail. You'd get a rolling flicker, uh, you'd get the sound going, the picture would go totally or it would shrink down to or whatever and you had to ring up the television company, lots of these were rented in those days, radio rentals, um, and they would come out and a service engineer would get a load of valves, blow all the dust out, put new valves in, test it all, shut it all up and you're good again and you run it again until it fails. You didn't have preventative servicing on it but you did have maintenance when something ran out you, you just replaced it or a repair. If something broke you replaced it. A long while ago, 25-30 years, can't remember the exact date, but we went over to LCD or LED TVs. These are flat screen panels and the one thing you'll notice, you can't open them up. They are sealed for life. There's nothing in there that you can do to them, nothing at all. And with a TV, this is where you get the concept of no servicing. With a TV, there is nothing to do. You turn it on, you watch it, you turn it off, you turn it on, you watch it, you turn it off, and you run it like that until one day it fails. And at that point, it becomes a repair. Also at that point, it often becomes throw it in the bin and buy another one because sometimes, because you can't take these apart and easily fix them, uh, all the circuitry is no longer valves, it's all soldered onto a uh, motherboard, you often find that they'll quote you more to, serve, to uh, repair an existing flat screen TV than it costs to go down the, the supermarket or the electric, electrical store and buy a new one. So with TVs, we're now very used to the concept of we don't service them. You don't service mobile phones. You don't service tablets. There's a load of stuff now you don't service. You don't service electric kettles. You don't service toasters. You don't, you, there's so many things. Fridges, freezers. What? You just, you just use them until they fail. And when they fail, you usually have an option. Do you repair it or do you throw it away and, and get another one? That's what an EV is. And that is very, very different from a petrol or diesel car. Petrol or diesel car, if you didn't change the oil and the filter, um, the engine itself would fail prematurely and could be a long way prematurely. If you didn't replace the timing belt on the set intervals, if that snapped, you would almost certainly destroy the engine. An electric car, an electric EV, doesn't have that, it doesn't have timing belts, doesn't have oil or filters, doesn't have anything. It has one uh, moving part, which is the rotor inside the stator. Uh, stator is the static bit and the rotor is the rotary bit. Uh, that's it, there are no moving parts, like a TV. Don't open it, nothing in there to touch. There's nothing you can do to it. You don't have brushes like in the old days. It's all totally sealed for life. You never ever touch that. The idea is from the electric motor, you will run that uh, and, uh, for as long as the car will survive. Simple as that. And in many cases, unlike petrol cars, the motor will survive longer than the car. You'll start getting rust, you'll get a lot more failures, suspension failures, everything else. And it's just going to cost you a fortune. So, the motor itself, you don't need any servicing. Your battery is a very dangerous thing. You do not want to be anywhere near that. It's very high voltage inside. It's DC, direct current, which is absolutely fatal to anyone who messes about. So these batteries are totally sealed for two reasons. First of all, stop you getting in and killing yourself, uh, but also stop the water getting in. If you go through a puddle or a ford, uh, these are sealed. You can, you can go through water as deep as you want and these don't come to any harm. They're sealed. So you've now got a situation, your battery is sealed, and your motor is sealed. What about things like brake pads? Ah, 
are lovely because electric cars, EVs, do not use their brake pads very often. Uh, there's something called regenerative braking. So if you put your foot on the accelerator, it will take electricity out of your battery. It will put it into the motor. The motor turns, the motor turns the wheels and the car goes. With an electric motor, if you take your foot off the accelerator, those wheels are still turning. The car's still moving. Your wheels are turning. The wheels are turning the motors. So your motors are turning and your motors actually become alternators, generators. Uh, and they will produce electricity, which goes back into the battery. So first major shock is when you take your foot off the accelerator in an EV, uh, you're recharging your battery. Uh, but the real shock to, to all of this is that this can bring you in some cars right to an actual halt. You know, take your foot off, it'll, it'll feel like you've pressed the brake pedal and it'll stop. Uh, so a traffic light, it will just stop and hold it there. On other cars, it will slow you right the way down to just a crawl. And then if you want to stop, you just put your foot on the brake and just stop it the last little bit. Uh, if you don't want to stop, you let it creep forward. So these now, these brake pads, which are put on the car, um, you don't use them. And this is a genuine thing. There was a, a reunion recently with Teslas in California uh, where they invited everyone along whose car had done over 300,000 uh, kilometers um, to come along and have a big reunion. Well, reunion, they, they'd never met before, but you know what I mean, big meeting. Um, and a number of those cars with th two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 miles actually were still on the original brake pads. My car's still on the original brake pads. It's eight years old. So these, you just don't use them and therefore they just don't wear out. So you don't have to uh, maintain your brake pads. You don't check them. Uh, they'll be checked on an MOT when you do your MOT uh, and you don't actually do anything to them apart from when they are below a certain minimum limit, you'll need to change your brake pads. On an EV, that could be 10, 15 or 20 years. So you're getting the idea now that there is virtually nothing to do. Now, what can be serviced? Well, believe it or not, um, your brake fluid. Now your brake fluid is uh, it's a hydraulic fluid and it's hydroscopic, uh, which means it, it can absorb water. If it absorbs water, it doesn't work as well. So you need to have that checked periodically. It's, um, it's a regular issue, but you don't automatically replace it at set intervals. You check it. And you can do a, a water test on it and if there's water in it you replace it if there's no water in it you just carry on so it's not a serviceable item as such but it's something you should check obviously windscreen wipers but i have to say if you have to go into a garage change your windscreen wipers why if you go to a diy store like holford's or uh, any of the motor factors um, they'll almost certainly um, swap your wiper blades for free or for a quid or so. You don't need to put it into a, a car, into a garage to have a service to include the windscreen wipers. Uh, screen wash as well, that wears out. Well, wears out. It runs out. As it runs out, you just replace it. So on an EV, there's almost nothing serviceable on it. You don't have a handbrake. It's electronic. Uh, you don't have brake pedals, so you have to bleed brakes in the same way. You don't have a load of things, so it means that there genuinely is nothing to service on it. On mine, the only things I've ever done, I have replaced um, tyres, they wear out. I have replaced windscreen wipers, and I do top up the screen wash. And that is the entire list of things I've done to that car. During an MOT, they check the brake fluid for water. Uh, it's all been clear up to now, so I haven't even had to replace that. Um, and uh, so you can actually get away with it. Now, there are some legacy auto. These are your Fords and your BMWs, Mercedes and everything else. They like the idea of you taking your car in and they charge you 50 quid or 100 quid or whatever it is. But if you ever look at what the service includes, it will say check brake fluid, check handbrake lever, check uh, headlight alignment, check screen wash, check wiper blade, check, 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 check. And they will use, no, I was going to say you're going to use a mechanic who charges £100 an hour. He doesn't, the mechanic will get paid £10 or £15 an hour. The garage will charge you £100 for having him check everything. So if you're quite happy for someone to pay someone £100 an hour to check your screen wash, take your car in. But if I had a car and the manufacturer said I had to bring it in for a service, I would say, what are you going to do? 
how much are you going to charge me for each of those items? Unlike with a petrol car, if you don't have that serviced, your warranty is invalid. With an EV, EV they're not allowed to do that because there's nothing in there that has to be done. And therefore these services are voluntary and I would fight like hell with any dealer who tried to charge me for a service visit for things that I, I can check the I can check the wiper blades, I can check the screen wash, and I'll MOT, I can check, uh, ask the garage to check whether there's any water in the hydraulic fluid. I don't need to put my car in uh, to check it. They will claim, oh yeah, but we do other things, we check your tyres. I can check my own tyres, and if I've got any doubts, I'll drive it down to Quickfit or Holfords, and they'll do it for free. They'll look at my tyres, go, yeah, that one needs doing, that one's got 4,000 miles left on it, this one, uh, probably another year's life in it. That's free. Why do you need a garage to tell you uh, whether your tyres need replacing? They'll tell you, oh, it's a safety check, we look underneath. Well, pardon me, but that's what they do on an, on an MOT. They look at all the key components, your suspension, your steering and your braking, the structural integrity of the vehicle, and they will tell you whether it's safe or not. So why do I need to take it then to a garage to have some guy on £100 an hour tell me um, that everything's all right? Again, fight these things because it's just a legacy. It's what they call legacy auto. It's just a legacy. They've got so used to charging you for servicing your car, pocketing the money, it's almost pure profit, that they don't want to stop it with EVs. Tesla's one of the manufacturers there is no servicing maintenance. They don't issue a service handbook. There is nothing to do other than uh, the list in the service book is very simple. It says, check your tires, check your windscreen wipers, check your screen wash, have your, your hydraulic fluid checked every couple of years for water. And uh, there's a cabin filter, an air filter for the cabin uh, to stop dust and pollen and everything else blowing in. Uh, have that replaced every two or three years, if you want to. That's it. So, it is totally true, EVs do not require servicing. It is also perfectly true that some of the legacy auto will try and stiff you for 40, 50, 100 quid to get your car checked over. Up to you, it's your money. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, click the like button. If you'd like to see more, uh, well, please click subscribe. Totally free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we re release the next video, uh, click the notification bell. And that means we can notify you to let you know there's a new video out there. So thanks very much for watching. I'm Dave.